most of the people are not aware that there is a difference between being lawyer and being an advocate. Now being legal professionals we should know that and here in this video I am going to discuss the qualifications required to enroll as an advocate under the Advocate Act 1961 which is discussed under section 24 and then there is a discussion on enrollment certificate under section 22. Hey guys welcome to my legal classes this is Ganesh Pujari and in just two slides I am going to cover two important sections why to waste time let's get into the first slide. Section 24 of Advocates Act 1961 discusses about persons who may be admitted as advocates on a state rule. Here there are five important provisions and when one completes all these five requirements he can admit in the state rule. The first one he needs to be citizen of India. Now you might be thinking are there no opportunities for other nationals. Yes there is an exception which says a national of any other country may be admitted as an advocate on a state role if citizen of India duly qualified or permitted to practice law in that other country. Now imagine you are a person who is qualified in law and if you are allowed to practice in some XYZ country as a legal professional in that case the person from that country can also be allowed to practice in India. So that is a kind of mutual agreement. The second requirement is the person who want to admit as an advocate in the state role must complete 21 years. That is the minimum age. The third and one of the most important requirement is about the education. Now you can do the education with Indian University or foreign university. When it comes to Indian university the person need to complete graduation and then three years regular law course or it may be 10 plus 2 and then five years integrated law course. That is what required to be a lawyer. But if you are doing education with foreign university then such university need to be recognized by the Bar Council of India under the Advocate Act. That is a very important requirement as per section 24 C. Now the next aspect is there is something by name enrollment fee. When I say enrollment fee it can change but as of now that is in the year 2020 the enrollment fee for state is 600 rupees and then there is 150 rupees towards Bar Council of India and if such candidate is belonging to SC or ST that is scheduled caste or scheduled tribe then the fees for state is 100 rupees and for Bar Council of India it is 25 rupees. The last requirement is he must fulfill any other conditions of such state Bar Council. Now the state Bar Councils can make provisions that is additional opportunity with them and if there are any then the same needs to be completed. While discussing age I told it is 21 years minimum but as far as maximum age is concerned there is no limitations as such. So one can enroll at any of his age. This is about how to admit as an advocate. Now if you want to practice as an advocate then there is again one additional requirement starting from the year 2010 that is passing all India bar exam. Now I am going to explain on that particular exam in one of my future videos but for now this is sufficient you need to remember all five provisions as I have explained. Now what is the proof that a person who was lawyer now has been enrolled as an advocate. That is what exactly discussed under section 22 which is about certificate of enrollment. Once after completing all the requirements as discussed under section 24, a person's name will be added into state's role and he will also get a certificate on the same. Now once after he been enrolled, it is the responsibility of such person that whenever he is changing the address, he need to update his state bar council that is his responsibility and such needs to be done within 90 days that is very very important and that's all about section 22. That's about the qualifications. Now you might be thinking 
a person after getting enrolled are there any ways a person getting disqualified from such state role that is what exactly i am going to discuss in my next class till then thank you so much for subscribing my channel please like share and comment my videos all the very best for whatsoever purpose you are referring my channel and thanks again